We got high level bombers. They're gonna bust this hangar wide open. Oh, USS Franklin, CV slash CVA slash CVS 13, AVT 8, nicknamed Big Ben, was one of 24 Essex class aircraft carriers built during World War II for the United States Navy, and the 5th U.S. Navy ship to bear the name. Commissioned in January 1944, she served in several campaigns in the Pacific War, earning four battle stars. She was badly damaged by a Japanese air attack in March 1945. With the loss of over 800 of her crew, becoming the most heavily damaged United States aircraft carrier to survive the war. On the 19th of March 1945 the carrier USS Franklin was 50 miles off the coast of Japan, participating in airstrikes against the main island of Honshu by Task Force 58. On deck were 31 armed and fueled aircraft about to be launched, with more armed and fueled aircraft were in the hangar deck below. Suddenly a Japanese bomber emerged from the clouds and dropped two 250 kg bombs. The first bomb penetrated into the hangar deck, setting off a devastating series of aviation fuel and ammunition explosions. The force of these explosions erupted onto the flight deck setting off further fires and explosions amongst the waiting aircraft. The ship soon began to list and for a time it seemed that the Franklin was doomed. Pacific War correspondent Alvin S. McCoy sent this account which subsequently appeared in War Illustrated in Britain. I was the only war correspondent aboard, a day's survivor of the Holocaust only because I was below decks at breakfast in the unhit area. The rescue of the crippled carrier, towed flaming and smoking from the very shores of Japan, and the saving of more than 800 men fished from the sea by protecting cruisers and destroyers, will be an epic of naval warfare. Heads bobbed in the water for miles behind the carrier. Men floated on rafts or swam about in the bitterly cold water to seize lifelines from the rescue ships and be hauled aboard. The official loss of life will be announced by the Navy Department in Washington. Unofficial figures at the time showed 949 dead, more than 221 wounded. Scenes of indescribable horror swept the ship. Men were blown off the flight deck into the sea. Some were burned to cinders in the searing white hot flash of flame that swept the hangar deck. Others were trapped in the compartments below and suffocated by a smoke. Scores were drowned, and others torn by exploding shells and bombs. Countless deeds of heroism and superb seamanship saved the carrier and about two-thirds of the ship's complement if more than 2,500. The tenacity of the Franklin skipper, Captain Ellie Jairs, who refused to abandon the ship and accept the aid of protecting ships and planes, virtually snatched the carrier from Japanese waters to be repaired so that she can fight again. Fire and damage control parties who stuck with the ship performed valiantly. The carrier was all but abandoned, although the abandoned ship order was never given. An air group and about 1,500 of the crew were sent to the USS Santa Fe. A skeleton crew of some 690 remained aboard to try to save the ship as it listed nearly 20 degrees. The Franklin's aircraft which were airborne landed safely on other carriers. The official casualty figures were 724 killed and 265 wounded but subsequent research, taking into the number of men first shown as missing, has placed the figure at between 807 and 924 killed. Repairs. Movie footage of the actual attack was included in the 1949 film Task Force starring Gary Cooper. After the attack, she returned to the U.S. mainland for repairs, missing the rest of the war, she was decommissioned in 1947. While in reserve, she was reclassified as an attack carrier, CVA, then an anti-submarine carrier, CVS, and finally an aircraft transport, AVT, but was never modernized and never saw active service again. Franklin and Bunker Hill, damaged by two kamikazes, were the only Essex-class carriers not to see active service as aircraft carriers after World War II. Franklin was sold for scrap in 1966. Despite severe damage, Franklin was eventually restored to good condition. The story of this aircraft carrier's near destruction and salvage was chronicled in the wartime documentary. The saga of the FR Franklin received four battle stars for her World War II service. 5. After the war, Franklin was opened to the public for Navy Day celebrations. On February 17, 1947, she was decommissioned at Bayonne, New Jersey. 
Franklin and Bunker Hill, damaged by two kamikazes, were the only Essex-class carriers not to see active service as aircraft carriers after World War II. While Franklin lay mothballed at Bayonne, she was redesignated as an attack aircraft carrier CVA-13 on October 1, 1952. An anti-submarine warfare support carrier CVS-13 on August 8, 1953 and, ultimately, as an aircraft transport AVT-8 on May 15, 1959. However, she never went to sea again, and was stricken from the naval vessel register on October 1, 1964. She and Bunker Hill, which also had sustained severe damage from aerial attack, were the only carriers in their class that never saw any active duty post-war service, though their wartime damage had been successfully repaired. In fact it was their like new condition which kept them out of commission, as the Navy for many years envisioned an ultimate reconfiguration for them which never took place. The Navy initially sold Franklin to the Peck Iron and Metal Company of Portsmouth, Virginia, but reclaimed her due to an urgent Bureau of Ships requirement for her four turbo generators. She was again sold for scrap to the Portsmouth Salvage Company of Chesapeake, Virginia, on July 27, 1966. She departed naval custody under tow, by the Red Star Towing Company, on the evening of August 1, 1966 Anklin, 1945, and the 2011 documentary, USS Franklin, on her restored.